Why? Why did it happen? Why was she destined to die? What crime could a girl like that have possibly committed to deserve such a grim fate? She was only 14. And during those brief 14 years, what did she do? Simply cherish a love of music and revel in her girlish dreams. I'll never forget her. Even if the cruel passage of time should wear the threads of my memory so thin they break, I will always remember. So, once more, a new journey begins. Emilia. Once again, it all comes to an end. It's lovely to meet you. Or perhaps it would be more fitting to say, welcome back. do this and it's for the person who means the most to me my life is nothing compared to his doing this is easy if it's for him The rippling surface of flowing water transforms the soft light of the morning sun. The beams combine, becoming a spotlight that paints the stage. The flowers awaiting the curtain's rise display faces of bright red and brilliant yellow. They turn their ears to listen to the performance that is about to begin. Accompanied by the gentle rhythm of a babbling brook, the birds begin to sing. Meanwhile, a mischievous sea breeze causes a rustling amidst the leaves of the trees, disrupting the concert. It is a familiar scene, one that has unfolded every morning since the beginning of time. And even now, the daily overture continues, its delicate, perfect balance never faltering, never changing. In the midst of this joyous orchestration, at the center of the morning's discordant musical performance, lies a small village nestled deep in the wood. The 
name of the village is Tenudo. It sits atop a hill which overlooks the coastline. In fact, the town is only about four miles from the sea. Tenudo is very lucky in this regard, for the town enjoys a wonderful cool breeze and a view that is nothing short of amazing. Then there are the flowers. They seem to blossom almost everywhere in the town. They paint the landscape with color as far as the eye can see. And they are the reason Tenudo is also known by another name, the Village of Flowers. There is a harbor town at the foot of a hill that can be seen from Tenudo. When night falls, the lights from the town shine like diamonds and open the hearts of those who gaze upon their illustrious splendor. Under normal circumstances, one might expect to find a bustling shopping district for tourists in a village as beautiful as this one. However, no such shops are to be found, not here. In fact, the village is quite calm, almost strangely quiet. It is a place that exudes a peaceful tranquility, a tranquility that further increases its allure, as well as its mystery. because of the moon. Because of the moon? That's right. The moon charms the water in the ocean with its beauty. And because the moon is so beautiful, the seawater just can't sit still. Is that true? Really? Really? Don't you feel your heart start fluttering inside of you when you look at the moon? I do! What about the puddle? Will it make waves when the moon comes out too? No, dear. There's not enough water. You need lots and lots of water, like the ocean before it can make any real waves. Oh, I see. But that's weird. Why can't a little bit of water make waves too? The amount of water is the most important part of creating waves. That can be said about people as well. There are many things in this world that can charm people's hearts, just like the moon charms the sea. Things like wealth, vanity, status, image, and power. People who are drawn to these things create waves and the fear in their hearts makes the waves grow bigger and stronger. The more people there are, the bigger the waves can become. And as the number of people grows, the waves grow bigger and bigger. It can lead people to start terrible conflicts. This is probably too hard for you to understand. I guess. If something like that ever were to happen, the only way to stop it would be for you to jump into the ocean. 
Because when you do, those big waves will become calm again. It may be difficult to do, but if you can be very brave, you'll bring joy to the person who means the most to you. Really? Then I'll do it! Really, though, comparing seawater stirred up by the beauty of the moon to the ugly waves created by the effects of human desire is rather an insult to the ocean. He seems to have calmed down, hasn't he, Doctor? He doesn't look like he's in pain the way he did before. It seems as though he must be having a pleasant dream. Yes. Well, that would be nice. It would be even better if that means he's headed towards recovery. A full recovery. It's said that people can have the most peaceful dreams just before they pass on. What are you talking about? How can you say that? I apologize. Hopefully it's just an old wives' tale. Frederick. worried about me. I'd better get home before it gets dark. The animals that live in the forest around here aren't really very strong, so I should be able to defeat them without too much trouble. But just to be safe, I'll go over the basics of how to fight again. Let's see. The turn order goes from fastest to slowest, right? It looks like it's my turn now. I should try moving around a bit to start with. Until this action gauge runs out of time, I can move around to anywhere I want. The action gauge only decreases when I'm actually doing something, so if I don't know what to do next, I can stop and think about it without losing my turn. Moving around isn't the only thing I can do. I can attack enemies, too. This time, I think I'm going to try using the attack button. Ha! Now I've got it! I'm starting to remember how to do this more and more! There's also one other thing about the action gauge. Every time one of my attacks hits an enemy, the action gauge goes up a little, which means that the more I attack my enemies, the more extra time I'll get to keep on moving and fighting. All right, I think maybe it's time to try attacking. Oh, it looks like all the time in the action gauge has run out already. I guess that means my turn is over. I guess I'll just have to wait until it becomes my turn again. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot about that. When the next arrow appears overhead like this, it means that my turn will be coming up next. That way I have time to prepare, and I won't be surprised by it suddenly becoming my turn. Okay, it's my turn again. I feel sorry for this little guy, but I guess I'd better finish him off. Oh, look out! 
pressing the guard button when an enemy attacks and this icon appears, I can defend myself. But I have to get the timing just right, so I really need to concentrate. And if I want to run away, I press and hold down the L1 and R1 buttons at the same time when it's my turn. But I need to hold down the buttons during my entire turn, so I have to watch for the next arrow. That way I can start holding down the L1 and R1 buttons before my turn even starts and make sure I'm able to get away. I think that pretty much covers all the basics of fighting. Okay, I'm almost done. I just have to keep at it. Yeah. I'll do my best! living in Retardando. Why won't any of them buy from me? And now... I see. I guess you don't want to be touched by me either. Coming by some of Tenuto's famous floral powder. It works very well. Please give it a try. Floral powder? Hmm. I didn't know people still made that. What with the mineral powder we can get these days? Why would anyone need that stuff? Now, I don't mean to be rude, honey, but floral powder just isn't useful anymore. Hmm. I guess no one around here wants to buy it. 
Hey, what was that for? What's your problem? Uh, but I didn't do anything. Who do you think you're talking to? I, 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 uh, 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 uh. from me D -d don't touch me wow did you see that mom she was glowing come back here right now never go near anyone that glows like that girl did do you understand me but why because i said so that's why now come on